Have you ever had one of those times where you feel like you want to draw but have absolutely no idea what to draw? Or maybe when you feel like you're not happy with the outcome of your drawings, therefore you don't feel like drawing anymore. Or maybe when you're feeling mentally or physically exhausted that the idea of picking up a pencil is just not appealing at the moment. Or maybe you feel that you have all of these ideas but you don't have the time to draw. Or maybe you have all of these ideas but you don't feel like drawing. Whether or not you term these situations as art block or creative block, I hope that this video is still helpful in how you can tackle these moments where art just doesn't seem very fun. Because when faced with these situations, we really just have to ask ourselves, are we going to let this become an excuse to procrastinate and then later complain as to why we're not getting any better? Or are we going to find ways to overcome it and be motivated by it? I firmly believe that it's up to us, like it's up to me or it's up to you to decide what we're going to do in that situation. So these are the methods that worked for me and I hope that they work for you as well. You don't know what to draw, but you want to draw. Use this time to practice. I don't think that we'll ever run out of things to draw because there's so much surrounding us. So if you find yourself staring at a blank piece of paper, look around you, point at a random object and then draw that. Use that time to broaden your skills in drawing and to expand your knowledge. Uh, think about what you want to improve and then improve it by practicing. You want to draw, but you don't have any ideas. List things of interest. Keep a log of everything that comes to mind. Write it down. Make a quick doodle of it or take a photo. The more you have listed down, the better because when the time comes and you're running low on ideas, you can simply take a look at the list and see if anything sparks an interest. So keep adding to this list because you can use it for years and years to come. And if you don't have one, start one. You can actually browse for prompts online and write down the ones you like. You're not happy with the artworks you've been creating and it's put you off drawing. Be real with yourself. Ask yourself how you expect to improve if you're not going to draw. The first thing I ask myself in this situation is if drawing is really what I want to do. Not even as a professional career, but just something that I want to keep doing. Because if it is, then I'm not going to let a bad drawing stop me from drawing. If something in your head does not turn out the way you wanted, you are by all means free to do one of the following. One, consider it done, move on and never look back. Two, pick out the mistakes and make revisions. Three, you can archive the idea and return to it in the future. Or four, start all over again. If you also feel like you've practiced a lot, but you don't see your art improving, then I'm sorry to be frank, but the answer is clear. Uh, what I've found in my experience is that there isn't a start and finish to practicing. If you want to constantly keep improving in whatever it is you want to do in life, then you have to be forever practicing. And I know that's not the most exciting word to use, but just keep on going. You're not happy with the artworks you've been creating and it's made you frustrated with art. Take a break, go for a walk, hang out with friends, read a book, watch a movie. Don't draw for a while, but maybe keep engaging in activities that you find interesting or still require some form of creativity. So go for a walk and think, hang out with friends and gain new perspectives or new experiences. Read a book and absorb new knowledge. Watch a movie and let the cinematography, the story or the music inspire you. I feel like this allows you to keep exercising your creativity, but at the same time, it allows you to release the frustrations that you were feeling. 
Another thing that you can do is to force yourself to keep drawing. This is the opposite of what I just told you because this method also works. Sometimes you have to sit yourself down and tell yourself to draw. It'll be difficult to start, but once you gain that momentum, you might find yourself enjoying the process. I find that sometimes you have to also push yourself to complete a task if you want to discipline yourself. You're having a mental or physical burnout. Take care of yourself. Your mental health is just as important as your physical health because art is a very emotional process whether we're aware of it or not, so take a break from art. And in this case, you don't even have to engage in creative activities, just rest. This can, of course, run the risk of you having a hard time getting back into the swing of things, but I feel like if you're determined, you'll find a way. And the best way that works for me when I'm faced with this situation is to remind myself of the reason why I make art. I make art simply because I enjoy it, and I want to keep making art because I want to keep enjoying it. You have ideas, but you don't have the time to draw. Set your priorities. I know that we all have responsibilities outside of art, such as school, work, social life. Uh, we can force it and make time for drawing, but it will sacrifice some things, including our energy. So if this method stresses you out, then it's probably not the best method for you. But likewise, if any method is causing more stress than relieving any, then it's most likely not the best method. Uh, what works for me is I organize my time, so I like to set a goal. Uh, give yourself a deadline for that goal as well. So you can doodle for five minutes every day, for example, or you can decide to only draw finished pieces once a week. Uh, pick the method that best suits you and your lifestyle. You have ideas, but you don't feel like drawing. If that's the case, ask yourself why you don't feel like drawing and refer to the methods mentioned before. It could be a burnout or it could be the fear that it won't turn out the way you wanted or you're scared that it won't be perfect. I hope that it's not the latter because I believe that perfection is unattainable. Like we can try to chase it, but if it becomes the sole reason as to why you make art, then I feel like you've set a goal for yourself that will continuously stress you out. If the reason why you don't feel like drawing is also because you're just being lazy, then ask yourself if you're okay with where you currently are with your skills. If the answer is yes, then at least you've accepted that you're not going to change or that your art is not going to change. But if the answer is no, then you will find methods to be productive and you won't let the feeling of I don't feel like drawing stop you from continuously improving. And yeah. Those are the methods that I found worked for me in those situations. Keep in mind that these are not the only existing methods. You can definitely find a unique one that works for you. And if you have a method that works for you, leave them in the comments below and let's help each other out. With that said, I have compiled a list of resources in the description box that might also be helpful for you, so use them to your advantage. and. And yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one.